I'm Kelly Swoop with your WMER 2 News update. The remnants of Hurricane Ida brought flooding, damaging wind and tornadoes to some parts of Maryland last week. If your home had the windows broken, the roof ripped off or anything in between, now is the time to review your options. The Maryland Insurance Administration says it will help people figure out how to file claims and review their policies. It held a special workshop Thursday night. Councilwoman Odette Ramos says it's complicated and the process is difficult, but people should come forward if they need help. Uh, so we want to just be able to, to help people um, and then, you know, put out information about how to, uh, what to think about when you're thinking about uh, insurance uh, moving forward. Uh, and, uh, you know, I think everybody should check their insurance policies, make sure it covers trees going through the roof or flooding or things like that. Going forward, she says to think about this storm and how it impacted where you live. If you're up for a policy change, consider adding a little more storm damage protections just in case. Federal help could be coming to Annapolis, Edgewater and other parts of the state impacted by Ida. The Maryland Emergency Management Agency has requested a joint preliminary damage assessment from FEMA to begin early next week. Ida brought tornadoes, damaging wind and flash flooding to the state with most of the damage in Anne Arundel and Cecil counties. The assessment lets the state and the federal government determine the extent of the damage and impact. A joint PDA doesn't guarantee federal aid, but will help with the process if they deem the damage severe enough. Sunny skies returning to the area as we head into the end of the work weekend. We're looking at some pretty good numbers. Starting off the day in the 60s, rapidly climbing into the 70s. We'll hit 75 degrees through the afternoon. Daytime highs near 78 degrees and then southerly flow takes hold as we head into the weekend. That's going to bring seasonal numbers for Saturday and then we're going to be well above average by Sunday. Flirting with 90 degrees on Monday, staying dry through the middle of next week. Stick with us online at WMER2news.com for updates on top stories and breaking news. And also for news and weather while you're on the go, don't forget to download the WMER2 News app in your app store. Thanks for watching. I'm Kelly Swoop. This WMER2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.